Hey, what's up everybody? This is Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time it's the English Timber Frame Counterbalanced Village Well. Uh, that's <laughs> a lot in one sentence, but um, that's what this is. Uh, it's a pretty uh, simple looking kit. Um, it's an MDF kit by Sarissa Precision. Um, I'm going to be using this for my English Civil War and uh, various other uh, miniature games that I have. Um, <clears throat> and this right here, the very top sheet, is uh, part of your instruction sheet. And, oh, look at that. There's village stockades. That's really cool. <laughs> I wonder if that's in this kit. It sure is. It's stockades. That's awesome. So we're going to put this together. Um, I'm going to show you the sprue here. Uh, looks like we have the base. Uh, the base right here. The parts of the well. Uh, the counterbalance system here, and uh, that's pretty much on that sprue, as you can see. And here, which is a really cool addition, I didn't know this came with it, and this is pretty awesome. I probably should have looked at uh, the picture online, but these are the uh, the village stocks, which is really cool. <laughs> So these are these are good additions to uh, all my buildings and and uh, scenery that are going to go along with my English Civil War stuff. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the tools I used to put this together, uh, and then I will be back in a sec to tell you guys how it went, and I'll be back.
Right, there you have it. There's the English timber frame, counterbalance, village well, and our village stocks, which is right here, which is really cool. Um, for some reason, I didn't know this came with it. I don't know why. I just didn't look at the picture, but this is what actually what I was after is this counterbalance well. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got a little counterbalance onto it. I'm going to get a bucket to put on it. And uh, it was real easy to do. Uh, in the instructions they described to get the uh, alterations in the stone, which, as you can see, uh, I thought I had it, but I didn't. But it's still going to work. It's still going to be okay the way you paint it. Just make sure you alternate. You can flip them upside down to get them in alternating stone pattern, just like the ones on the bottom here. So, uh, But this will work. Um, it'll still look the part. So uh, don't do what I did. <laughs> um, and that's... This, this is actually a really easy kit to put together. That's the only really suge real suggestion that I have for you is make sure you stack them up before you start gluing them. Make sure they fit properly. I did that, set them off to the side, and I was flipping them over. I flipped it over and flipped it over going back the other direction. Um, and I guess I must have mixed it up in the fray. But that's okay. It's still, like I said, it's still going to look great. Um, still really nice kit. Um, and this will go uh, with my English Civil War stuff. And the stockades, I was really surprised by that. And that's really awesome. I love that I have that. Uh, this one's pretty self-explanatory. The instructions are very are very good. He tells you exactly what to do and what not to do for sure as far as uh, what to glue on first. Now this right here, uh, I wasn't going to glue it in place. But I decided to anyway uh, because of how, how, um, how much it moved. Even if I would have pushed this as tight as I could and glue the outside, it still got a little glue on it and it ended up stiffening anyway. So I went up, went ahead and uh, added a little bit more glue to it. But you could easily put a counterbalance on it to counterbalance whatever bucket you're going to put on it. Or if you're not going to put a bucket at all, that's fine too. Uh, but they just glue in there. This little stick goes right in, right in there. Just like, you know... Uh, <laughs> Old-fashioned buildings that didn't have nails. They just had little wedges and uh, they would stick together and that, that would fit perfectly. Uh, but everything went together well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. And always, there will be still shots after this. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta! And I'll catch you in my next video.